Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's episode, we are going to be going over all of the details for the Halloween themed Max Raid event that's happening right now in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So, as it is the weekend of Halloween, Pokemon Sword and Shield are having a themed Max Raid event like you would expect them to do and it has got some goodies. So, first things first, let's hop over to our trusty source at Cerebi and uh, all the links to Cerebi will be down in the description below if you want to take a check out these details for yourself a little bit more in depth and um, so we can see the wild area event has now shifted to Pokemon Sword and Shield for the new extra event with this for the next few days Pokemon themed around Halloween will be made available with shiny Zoroark appearing we currently compile all the data of the event to be sure to keep checking back uh, and this event runs until Sunday at 2359 UTC. So let's check out the details. Here we go. Here are the details of the den. We'll quickly go over what we can get in all of them. As you can see, it is running from the 29th to the 31st of October. We did mention that it finishes on Sunday, which would be the 31st at 2359 UTC. Um, running from today, 29th of October, as of recording this video. Um, so you can see we have to start with Pokemon Sword, but Pokemon Sword and Shield, as we'll find out, will be exactly the same. We'll start off with the one star raids. For those of you who are new to Sword and Shield, to get higher star raid encounters, you need to collect more gym badges. So once you've got all the gym badges, once you become champion, you'll be able to get access to those five star raids. So anything below that, you're gonna be able to access the, the event, but you might not be able to get the higher raid uh, encounters. So we'll start off with the one star raids. We're looking at Zora, Sableye, Duskull, Rookidy, and Nicket. all classic Halloween Pokemon. Now you've got to say, they've all got a Halloween theme about them, dark and ghost types. Um, no special items that we're going to be getting here berries a uh, rare candies your dynamax candies and uh, a handy tm but then we'll move on to the two star raids when we get zoroark uh sableye duskull cover squire and thievil again the items is nothing outstanding standing out anyway at the minute three star raids again going to be the zoroark the sableye dusk noir cover knight and thievil and then we come down to the four star, which is going to be exactly the same as the three star raids. Uh, you're just going to get more items for this one. And then we come down to the juice of these five star raids, which is where the majority of people are going to be hunting this weekend. So you can see you've got Zorak, you've got the Sableye, the Dusk Noir, Corviknight, and Thievil. They all have standard shiny chances of appearing. But there is a special one for this event, and that is the Zorak here. And it is a guaranteed square shiny Pokemon. You've got a 2% chance to get this. So the chances are very low to encounter it. But there are ways to do it so you can grind through and make it a little bit more uh, manageable. Uh, lots of items, nothing standing out here. And then we'll move down to Pokemon Sword, which has exactly the same catch rates, exactly the same Pokemon against exactly the star, uh, the same star rating. So both the same, doesn't matter which variant you've got, you're gonna be able to take advantage of this with either title. And like I say, just to finish off here, before we move into game, it is running from now, October the 29th to October the 31st, which is Sunday. So make sure if you do want to take advantage of this event, you get in some time over this weekend to do it. So let's hop back into game. Right now, I'm going to pull up my map because it's always useful to show you where I am on the map. Uh, so you can see where I do this. This is Dappled Grove. You can get there. This is in the wild area. And as you can see, we go over this in our other max raid event details but there are two dens here what you can do is drop a wishing piece in here if it isn't the max raid event uh, that's ongoing then just run over to this one and drop a wishing piece in there and then check that one and keep doing that until you get the max raid event den has to be a red beam it can't be a purple beam it has to be one of these red beams and as you can see I already have an event den running. I have no idea what this event is from, but it is an event den. So what you want to do to update your dens in, in the game is you want to come to Mystery Gifts. Then you want to go to Get the Wild Area News. Now, I know a lot of you already know this, but there are quite a, a number of new players coming into Sword and Shield all the time. This will be useful information for them. Once you're connected to the internet, your game's going to communicate, update the wild area, and this... This updates your wild area, the crown tundra, Isla armor, all the dens in the game. Um, and then, as you can see, it was it was a dub wall in this den, but now it is a thievol. So we have the event den. So 
There you go, that's how you update it anyway. Now the next step is, if you're predominantly hunting for the shiny Zorark, uh, which I'll be doing this weekend, what you want to be doing is looking for that 5 star raid. So you can see the Thiebel here, 5 star, we want a 5 star Zorark. And to do that, there is a way we can do it. We're going to just quickly do it. I know friends, what you want to do is just make sure that you're not on the internet when you're doing this. You wanna click into the den, invite others. As soon as it starts counting down, you wanna hit your home menu. You wanna come down into system settings, down into system, down into date and time, date and time here. You wanna make sure that your, your synchronized clock by the internet is off. Come down to date and time, skip your date, forward one day, click okay. Then exit out of this screen, back into Sword and Shield. Uh, We'll just start software for now. I do need to do an update. Once you're back in the game, you want to quit out of the den. Don't let the timer run down because it'll start the den. Um, and then you can see the weather's changed magically. This process just skips the day in the game. It skips the frame in the den. So it moves on to the next Pokemon. So you can jump into the den. You can see we're getting Watts and the Pokemon changes. So you want to just repeat this process over and over again until you get that five star Zorak and we'll be right back when we've got it. Okay, it did take a little bit longer than what I expected, but we finally have our five star Zorak. So this is what it would look like. This is what you're hunting for. And what you want to do at this stage is you want to make sure that you save your game because if the one that is in the den currently is not shiny, you can reset your game and then just start the skipping process. You have to skip pokemon to the next five star zorak you cannot just reset your game come in and then go into the den again that zorak that you've got if this one isn't shiny it will never be shiny so what you need to do is skip to the next five star zorak from this point using the method of the date skip glitch of course uh, so what we do is then we've got this you want to just test it we've saved the game we don't want to invite others we can jump into the game and see if it is that shiny zorak is it it's kind of hard to see is that more red I think it's regular i think it's just yeah it's just the regular one we got no sparkle there so what you can do at this point is just reset your game um like i say and then skip on until the next point so we're back in game we know this one is not shiny what you want to do like i've said i've said it before but we'll just guide you through it is we just want to do the date skip again we're going to get rid of this five star one because it isn't the shiny and to do that we need to move on with the den to uh to get the next Zero Aura, quit out of the den. Not Zero Aura. Wish it was Zero Aura. Zorok. I can't really speak today. We've got a four star there. So you get the idea. And what you want to do is just progress the den until you get to that next five star. Check that. Make sure you save before going into it though. If it's not, reset the game, come out, and then just keep skipping to the next five star and repeat the process. And you will eventually, my friends, it might take a while, but you will eventually get a five star Zorak, I guarantee you. But like I say, have some patience with it. It can take a long time. The other options to do are look at uh, players hosting uh, five star raids online. A lot of those players will be hosting shiny den events for you to get involved with and get those shinies. And definitely check out the Discord, the channel Discord. It will be linked down in the description. There will be a lot of events going on over this weekend. And I'm sure there will be a lot of people hosting this particular shiny event over on the Discord. So do get involved with that. And at the baseline of it, I hope you have a great time with this event and have a lot of luck catching the shiny Zorak. As always, I always ask, if you've had any success, let me know down in the comment section below. I love hearing about the success stories in these events. These Pokemon 2% chance spawn rate are very difficult to catch. And I always love hearing the stories about you all who have already managed to get them or are about to get them uh, in this event over the weekend. Have a great Halloween, everyone. And I'll see you very soon for another episode on the channel.